I'm a student. I'm also an athlete. So, I have a lot of stuff to lug around from the time I leave my house in the morning to when I leave the basketball court at night. For school, I have my binder, spiral notebooks, and pencil case. For basketball, I have my extra water, change of clothes, and shoes. The list of things I carry every day is simply ridiculous. So now you know why I and most of my friends look like this every day. But it shouldn't have to be this way. There's got to be a better way. When I was younger, I would create paper versions of electronics I wasn't old enough to have yet. When my parents would not buy me an iPhone at the age of nine, I crafted one myself out of paper. After using a combination of construction paper, tape, and a lock screen paper printout, I created this. My paper phone was so fantastic that when I brought it to school, my friends lined up for me to make one for them too. Similarly, when I couldn't have a MacBook, I made one out of paper. I even drew in all the little keys and the Apple logo on the back. While it could not serve the functions of an actual laptop, I enjoyed making it and admiring it once I finished. I realized that, in the end, I still did not have a phone or a laptop, but I gained much more than just fancy paper knockoffs. Because even now, at an age where I have so much of the stuff I wanted so badly before, I've realized that there is a bigger problem. Like many of my friends, and most Americans, I consumed and consumed, buying the latest version of the iPhone or the newest trendy accessories, there is this mentality to buy something and, when an issue arises, to upgrade to a newer model. Oftentimes, manufacturers create new problems and then purposefully release quick fixes to increase their sales. They know that consumers will compulsively upgrade to the next model. But what if, instead of feeling the need to purchase something, products were designed better so they would not need to be replaced. Engineers make things functional. Artists make things pretty. Product designers do both. Human-centered design means designing a product with the user in mind. Is it effective and easy to use? Does it make sense that it is engineered in a given way? The premise of product design is the ability to consider functionality, aesthetics, and most importantly, user experience. Just because something works does not mean that it is aesthetically pleasing to the user. And just because something looks nice does not mean that it serves its intended function. A product must have a balance between both functionality and aesthetics. Have you ever been using something and just thought to yourself, who thought this would work? I mean, seriously, certain products are so defective, it's a wonder people even buy them. The sizing is off, the quality of the material is lacking, the manner in which the space is designed makes no sense. There are countless products out there that could be improved upon. And that is where product design comes into play. Remember how overwhelmed I was with all those bags when I walked out? That is because the typical student backpack is not designed for modern student life. It literally is circular at the top, which is a huge waste of space. Also, have you ever tried to zip the top of a backpack over the 90 degree angles of a binder or laptop? It does not work. There have even been multiple times where my shoulder shots have broken off. Aren't backpacks supposed to be designed to handle heavy loads? Obviously, students are going to have binders and laptops 
and pencil cases, and who knows what else to carry. So why haven't backpacks been designed to handle heavier loads? And why are they shaped in a manner that wastes so much space? Instead, backpacks should be designed in a more rectangular fashion. Not only can they be more aesthetically pleasing for users this way, but they can, quite simply, fit more stuff. So, I decided to tap into that young designer who created paper phones and laptops and designed a backpack that just worked better. A student athlete backpack that fits both school supplies and athletic equipment all into one thoughtfully designed place. As you can see, there are compartments for all the necessities that a student athlete would have. In the back, there is a shoe compartment that would, of course, have ventilation to ensure that a smell does not arise in the rest of the backpack. Above that lies a compartment for large school supplies, such as binders, laptops, and small textbooks. In front lies an insulated lunch compartment, which would be for snacks and a thermos to keep food hot or cool, eliminating the need for a separate lunchbox. Next to that lies an electronics compartment, which would be for a laptop charger, phone charger, and perhaps a tablet charger. Below that lies a compartment for small school supplies, such as a pencil case, earbuds, and possibly makeup. If you use your phone constantly, it would make more sense to put it in the electronics compartment. However, if you don't use it that much, you could also put it in the small school supply space. The final compartment is for a change of clothes for athletes. The shoulder straps are padded with memory foam, providing maximum comfort to the user. Each compartment opens via a zipper except for the shoe compartment, which would open via a magnet or Velcro system. For the student athlete who is constantly rushing from one place to another, these seemingly small elements are crucial for being on the court or field on time. The fabric for the backpack is a polyester canvas fabric that is both durable and waterproof. Additionally, most people want to have items that look nice too. While the fabric would of course be durable, it would also be smooth and attractive. Ultimately, I intend for users to be able to select the fabrics and finishes that most reflect their individual style. And backpacks are not the only products that can be improved upon. Outstanding product design changes how people interact with the world around them. During meals, I usually enjoy watching TV shows on my phone, and I've struggled to find the right way to keep my phone propped up so I can eat without holding it in my hand. I either have to hold my phone with one hand and try to eat with the other, or I pointlessly try to prop my phone up on some object nearby, which usually fails. The point is, it's a mess. One day, I thought to myself, what if I could 3D print a phone stand that could keep my phone in place while I watch TV? I already have experience with a 3D online design program in my mechatronics class. It allows you to develop parts that you can later print with a 3D printer. All I had to do was sketch out a general idea of the product I wanted, develop the part in the design program, add in the necessary dimensions based on my phone size, and 3D print the part. After the part had been printed, I could see if it worked. Any tweaks could then be made in the design program, and another prototype could be printed. Of course, my first effort was not successful, since my phone was slightly too large for the phone stand, and the stand was not fully stable. 
This is where real product design comes into play. Taking a common situation and designing products to eliminate discomfort and dysfunction. While I was discouraged that my first prototype was not successful, I was not discouraged. I simply made the necessary adjustments to my part in the program and 3D printed the product again. This is what my phone stand looks like. As you can see, it has a groove that is perfect for holding my phone while I want to watch TV shows during my afternoon snack. Not every product has to be as complicated as a student athlete backpack. Just a simple phone stand was able to improve my life significantly. When I design products, I find fulfillment knowing that other people will benefit from my designs. With the phone stand, other teens like me will be able to watch their TV shows in peace without worrying about dropping their phones. With the backpack, other student athletes like me will be able to hold everything they need for both school and sports in one place. That is the power of thoughtful product design. It can quite literally change how someone experiences their day and functions in the world. Thank you.